Alex Mendocian is a great marketer and he taught me when I was just starting to speak on the stage and to sell something from the stage, he taught me about transparent selling. And this is another example of naming that mouse. When I get up on stage, if I've got an offer at the end, everybody knows that I want them to buy it. And so they call it a pitch fest, right? You get up there, I'm going to tell you stuff and I'm going to try and sell you something. If I don't name that, it's weird, it's awkward, it's icky, and the people in the audience are probably going to be folding their arms. So what I started doing with Alex's coaching is I'd tell the truth. I'd name my mice up front. Hey, I want to do everything in my power to motivate, influence, and inspire you to continue your training with me. Because I'm going to give you some amazing information today, but information alone isn't going to cut it. And I figure the best way I could do that is to give you the best information I have. And then you can decide at the end, if you'd like to continue working with me or not. Does that sound fair? And the audience, they'll go, yeah. Okay, great. Now they know what's coming. They know I'm going to pitch them. I've got their permission to do it. I'm going to give them value. And then at the end, I'll say, I said at the beginning that I wanted to motivate, influence, and inspire you to continue your training with me. Would you like to know where to go to get more help with this? And a bunch of people in the audience would be like, yeah, like it's up front, nothing yeah. hidden. And then I lay out what I've got. Here's the pitch. If you want it, go and grab it. And I tell you what, the first time I ever did this, I thought if I sold $10,000 worth of product, I could hold my head up high and say, well, you know, we did all right. We sold $127,000 of product in 15 minutes. <laughs> 15 minutes, one woman leapt onto the table. I've got a video of it. Leapt full length onto the table to try and get, I, I had these tokens where you could get a thousand off. And there was a stampede to the back of the room. The second speech I did, this was my first big speech. The second one, we had less people in the audience. I refined a few things and we sold $333,000 of training in 15 minutes. Wow. And I say that was largely generated by the fact that I was naming my mice. I'd even be up on stage and I'd notice that I'd made a big mistake. Instead of glossing over it, I'd tell on myself. I'd say, oh my God, you notice how I keep turning around and looking at these big screens behind me so I see where I'm up to in the slides. After 40 minutes of talking to you, I've just noticed the monitors down in front of me. I could have been just <laughs> glancing at the consummate professional that I am. I just laughed and laughed and laughed and they laughed with me. Now I'm with them. I'm not trying to pretend to be something. I tell you, naming your mice is the doorway to connection, confidence, and leadership. I, I, I agree completely. You're already disclosing the awkward uncomfort that comes with some, you're listening to a motivational speaker. There's going to be a hard sell here, you know, and then you're like, well, I'm going to sell some things today. And if we have a great discussion. And now you've taken the defense off them. I think it's a great sales tactic because you've removed this defensiveness. Now they're, oh, okay, he's cool. Like he's with us. Yeah. You know, it's, it, it's really brilliant. The temptation in life generally is to strategize and manipulate. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. It's just that it isolates us. And people are smart enough to recognize a lot of manipulation. So if you kind of surprise them at the end with this sale opportunity, they might resent it. They might feel pressured. They might not have had time to think about it. I'd rather tell them up front, give them 60 minutes to think about whether or not they want to work with me. And then at the end, they're much closer to being ready. So this book is about unstrategizing. Here's one reason why. The brain doesn't have one billionth of the information it needs to make the right decision. We have very little information. We don't know the future, for example. So a simpler way is tell the truth and let the universe work out the rest. Mm -hmm. And I think this can work with sales as we've demonstrated. If you just be straight, I would like you to buy from me. I'd like, you know, I'm dating right now because I'm single and I'm looking for a relationship. I'd rather be, it can be fun to be up front. I'd like to spend some time with you. And there was one woman recently, I asked, she's single. And I said, are you looking for a relationship? What's going on? 
to disclose I'm single and I'm looking and you seem like a really high quality human and I'm interested in spending more time with you and seeing if anything develops. Now all my cards are on the table, right? And if she says no to that, then that's what she should say. There should be a no. We shouldn't be hanging out with me pretending it's going to be something else where I definitely want it to be something else. That's the old strategy method. I, I say, let's put our cards on the table, let the universe work out what should happen.